Hello everyone, welcome to a really short Star Wars Old Republic video. Uh, I'm just going to be talking about some new information that was data mined very recently and I uh, read this up on a Reddit post so make sure I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check out this information for yourself. But it does seem like coming with patch 5.2, the war for Iocath, that's coming early April, we will be getting a new stronghold actually. Very interesting because Eric Musco, when he was asked about new strongholds in a live stream uh, a few months ago, he had mentioned that it's something they talk about but they never really had any concrete plans to do anything. So it's actually quite interesting that we're seeing a new stronghold. Hold. But uh, before I keep you guys in any more sus suspense, if you do not already know, we are getting a new Zakul stronghold. Now, before you guys go on getting too um, you know, excited about what it's going to look like, it is basically just going to be a model of Valen's penthouse that we explored with Chapter 6 of Kotet. So it's basically based off that model. It's probably going to be ident identical, and uh, we're going to be allowed to decorate it however we want with our decorations and stuff. Now, this is some pretty definitive data mining. It's not like up in the air. Uh, it was put on the PTS with all the hooks and stuff. If you're an individual player, unlocking the entire stronghold is going to cost you around 20 million credits, and for your guild it's going to cost upwards of 50 to 60 million credits so it's a pretty significant credit sink and on top of that uh, it's huge it's absolutely huge if you explored uh, Valen's penthouse in chapter 6 of Kotat then you know what I mean because that mission was taking you all around the place and there's just room after room with these huge ballrooms and stuff it was pretty crazy and just think about decorating that that's going to be a huge credit sink for some of the really really uh, rich players in the game because it's going to take a lot of decorations to get to full completion and uh, it's going to be really interesting what, to see what people do with that. Uh, now, I know a lot of people have been wanting strongholds in all these different places like Manan, Alderaan and stuff. But I do think it's a cool stronghold makes a lot of sense given that, you know, we're supposed to be the... Um, oh, well, spoiler alert. I'll give you guys a few seconds <laughs> to uh, mute the video or whatever. But after Kotet, we do become the emperors. Uh, so we are Emperor of the Alliance. And so it makes sense that we would be able to, um, you know, have our own stronghold on Zakul and uh, rule from there. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see uh, how that plays into the story and stuff. You know, will we get our own throne room or something in there? I don't know. Or is it just going to be an exact replica of Zakul's, of Valen's penthouse from Zakul? Anyways, I am just touring around here in the video to, you know, show you guys what it looks like if you have not already played the chapter. Um... Another thing I wanted to quickly mention is uh, if this does indeed get put into the game with patch 5.2, we're going to see a pretty big boost to the decorations economy on the GTN. Because as I mentioned, this is absolutely massive, which means it's going to take a lot of decorations to, to deck this place out. And so people are going to be hitting the GTN to get the decorations they want. And so if you have some decorations, you might want to save them up and sell them in patch 5.2 when uh, this new thing comes out. Because you're probably going to be getting a lot more sales. And I'm sure there's going to be those people out there that are willing to pay really big bucks for that one decoration that they really need uh, just to make their penthouse look absolutely perfect and so you might be getting those really big sales um, yeah just kind of a side note I'm definitely saving up my decorations because if this does come out then uh, that's going to be a big economy to, um, to take advantage of so in terms of the data mining and why I think that this is definitely something that they're going to add is because if you look at the data, they have added this onto the PTS, they've added the number of hooks and stuff, and they also have added a new directory. So for example, when you're on like Joman Kass or Coruscant, you have those directory things where you can purchase your stronghold and you can travel there. And that's also where you travel to if you're leaving your stronghold. And so they have added like a Zakul directory to the PTS. There's absolutely no other reason they would do that if unless they were definitely adding in a new stronghold. It also makes a lot of sense because people have been wanting a new stronghold. And as I mentioned earlier, it makes sense with the story and stuff. So it's kind of the perfect time to do something like this. Also, apparently on a little bit of a side note, we're going to be getting a new PvP Warzone map, um, maybe even a new game mode on Iocath. Uh, that's also kind of a lot more tentative. Uh, it's not definitive or concrete whatsoever. Hopefully we'll get some new information in the coming weeks in terms of uh, whether we're actually getting something like that and how that's going to play out. But that's definitely really exciting. Um, they just were like, is data mine that there were some achievements and stuff about getting medals um, on uh, IOCath and stuff. And it was like using walkers and turrets and all these different mechanics coming into play. So it's gonna, that's really exciting. And I've been waiting on a new PvP Warzone. Odessin... Proving Grounds was a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, I personally don't play it. Like, I leave every time I get that war zone because I just don't enjoy that war zone whatsoever. So, it's going to be really cool to have a new war zone where apparently we're able to use walkers and stuff like that. Anyways, 
that kind of is the end of this video just to talk about some of this new and exciting stuff once again as always please leave a comment letting me know what you guys think uh, whether you're happy and excited about this is a cool stronghold make sure to check out the reddit link and see this information for yourself and know that it's all subject to change it's nothing definitive it's not like oh we're guaranteed a stronghold or this is exactly how it's going to look or whatever it's all kind of just up in the air but there is some pretty good evidence to suggest that it is definitely coming anyways i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one